Hi there and welcome to Budgie the Budget Bus Van Build. I've acquired a 17 seater mini bus, long wheel based Ford Transit. And last weekend I managed to acquire this four berth caravan. And I want this to be the donor vehicle for some of the bits and pieces that I'm going to put into the mini bus. So what I want to start doing is by looking at what's working, what's not working, strip out what we can keep and what we can't. Um, basically use what we can out of this to put into our camper van even down as far as cabinets, seat covers and that kind of stuff. One buddy to move. So as you can see, what? <laughs> what are you laughing for? <laughs> Dear me, I have to get, her, have to get my, my shoulder under her bum to get her into the place. Uh, so basically what it is, we got, as you can see, it's the, the roof caved a bit. But that's not a problem, I don't need the roof. Um, I might be able to use the vents. There's two vents in, in here, in the main living area, plus there's one in the shower area, which is in there. But a lot of this stuff, we've got a cooker, four burner, hot stove. These lights I've put in just now because we were given those by Lee. And it also comes, it's also got a sink in here already, metal, which we can reuse. We've got whale taps in here, good quality taps, so we can use those as well, all within the new build in the camper van. Maybe we want to change them later, we can. Um, I have bought a, a hot tap, which can do hot and cold water, which has got its own um, heater inside it as well so i'm not sure whether we'll need that at the moment but it's just using like the cabinets up above a lot of them have got these the struts in so we can use those as well in the in the van you know these are easily replaceable aren't they they're not they're not expensive so we've got a lot of those we can reuse i'm not so sure about the lights um <laughs> lovely old lights but I'll find out if they work in a minute because we've got I've got a leisure battery I've just bought just a, one from Halfers just to tide us over to get power in here maybe get the heating going to dry this out a bit I've got a cover to go over the roof outside so that'll protect us from the weather loads of little cover spaces everywhere the cushion seats there's nothing wrong with them they're lovely so we may just keep those but recover so it may be just taking the buttons out and then putting the new cover over and then putting the buttons back in. So it'll be quite good. Um, yeah, it's very damp in here as you probably realise. But other than that, no, there's nothing we can't do in here. So we will have the windows coming out, but I'll be reselling those. If anybody's got a camper van project and they want some windows for a panel van or anything, quality of the windows they do open and close they are weather proofed a lot of them you know so they do work and i wouldn't worry too much about the uh these I mean, things here they're horrible but they are there and they do work all the windows i think will come out and they'll be available for sale i don't need them in my camper van because i've got them all around but he's checking out all the uh perhaps what used to be a dog in here before him but this is now buddies Big kennel, really. Buddy, saying hello. Say hello. No, you're not talking. Oh well. Yeah, so we got this lot in the back here as well. Again, more ca more cover space, which I can utilise in the camper van because you've got the hinges and the stays on there as well. That's that's broken, but I'll just rip that out and then it's done. First stage. So this one I could probably clean up very well and maybe use that one in the cab. I don't know, but I'll be able to use a lot of this stuff. Uh, loads of covers we can utilise in the new build. Oh, hang on. Buddy, what do you think? This one here, buddy. What about this one? What about this one? Look, yeah, see the stays done on that as well, buddy. We have to fix that. Dead easy fix. We have got some old lights in here. Um, directional lights which I'm hoping I shall be able to change these to LEDs 
and then refit them. What think this one, buddy? Buddy, this one up here, look. This one, this is a switch, look, for light, yeah. And then at the back up here, we've actually got a bed unit, a pull-out bed. So I'm not sure whether I'll be able to use that in the new van, but it's all there, and it, I could easily incorporate that into it. There's nothing much we can't do, really, except get it back in. <laughs> With clips as well, so we get, well, I've got clips to transfer across, so a lot of this is going to go into the new build. And I think it's going to be a fantastic project, I'm not sure how long it's going to take because we haven't decided yet. It has got a shower built into it, um, for this camper van, this caravan should I say. But whether I can use the cassette toilet again, in another one, I should think I might be able to. I don't think I'm going to use the, the shower tray set because it's broken and cracked at the bottom. But the sink I might be able to use again if I get it cleaned up properly. Again, we've got whale taps there. Great. So I'm not sure. We've got a light fitting here, but I'm not sure I'll use this either. This one here. I'm not sure where that works, but we'll find out soon enough. The rest I can make and build myself. So that's, that's our caravan donor vehicle. I think Caroline might even keep the barometer and clock. Definitely. You know, it's little features like that I think we keep and we use again. Oh you know, yeah, we do have a built-in fridge as well. I do apologize, I forgot about this. There is a built-in <laughs> fridge here. It's not gonna take much to clean that out and get it bleached, get it bleached out and everything, take it out, get it fixed, make sure it works. I'm not sure. Ooh. I must have forgot that one. Anyway, yeah, so we got the fridge. I'm gonna connect this battery up in a minute and just see what kind of power we have got. I haven't found yet the external shore connection for the power coming in, but we've got down the bottom there, you can see, we've got fuses, we've got all kinds of things. A few units, we've got water pipes, I mean, I can reuse, recycle. I've got, this I believe is a Carver Cascade water system, perfect for the, my camper van. We've also got air ducting going around all over the place. I can recycle that and you reuse that. Um, yeah, we've got a hell of a lot of pumps, water pumps and all that kind of stuff. So once this is battery connected up, hopefully we'll find out whether any of this works. If it does, it'll be a real bonus. Thank you.